Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we'll be highlighting the process of decision making. Most opportunities are gained or lost according to our ability to make sound decisions. So we're going to break down decision making into four parts. And that'll be our process. And we're going to liken it to traveling. And so when you travel, you have to understand where you want to go. You have to plan and then you have to choose the right path. And as you go down that path, you're getting closer and closer to your desired outcome. So the four parts of decision making that we'll highlight today are understanding, thinking, or critical thinking, judging, and of course, acting. So we have our four components on the board understanding, thinking, judging, and acting. And now we can follow this process. Each one bleeds into the next one. So understanding leads you to thinking critically, and then thinking leads you to judging, making a judgment on something. And then after you make the proper judgment, then you go into action. And so we're gonna break down each one, one at a time. And understanding is all about intellect. And so you need to be gaining information because if you're not calculated, then you won't know what to do or you won't know what to think about. And so I have to understand the problem or the opportunity from an intellectual standpoint. So I need to calculate my, my information. I need to look at the risks and the rewards. So if I understand what's at stake, I understand what decision needs to be made, I understand what they're asking of me, if I have that basic uh, uh, foundation of understanding, then that will lead me to thinking what I need to think. So the understanding is objective. You're just taking in information, and a lot of times we miss this portion, and we go straight to impulse. We, we think irrationally, we think illogically, because we just wanna make a decision quick. Don't allow time to shift your focus on the process. And so if I understand, I'm allowing my intellectual, my mind to gather information so that I can calculate what's, what's at stake, what's here, what's in front of me, what should I do? And that's, that's what that will lead you to the thinking process. So I understand my intellect, my information, my risks and my rewards and, and how it will affect others and myself. But then that will lead me to my thought process. So understanding if we're looking at it as a trip, it's the planning. So I know, OK, there's a vacation spot over here. Uh, it's in, it's crowded in this time of the year. So I need to look at what it will look like, you know, in the winter time. And so you're focusing on all the different information that you're gathering uh, regarding your trip. And so then you have thinking and thinking is so important because thinking is the driving force. So think understanding, planning, thinking, driving. So thinking is the start. Now that you've calculated all of the facts, now that you've begun to understand, now you have to lead with intuition. Now, most people use intu intuition incorrectly. Intuition is not just feelings. It's your processing. It's you. It's your emotions, but it's also your intellect. It's your uh, perspective. It's your beliefs. It's your um, values um, and it's your preference. And so I'm thinking according to what's on the inside of me. That's why I'm using my brain to think and not someone else's brain to think. And so thinking is about intuition. It's about processing. So as I use my intuition and I use my processing, I know what I understand as, as much as I can. And I'm going to use my past experiences. I'm going to use my natural skills and gifts and I'm going to help me help myself uh, get to a base level understanding and a focus because what the whole goal is to focus on the action that I need to take or focus on the ultimate solution, right? Now, after you think through, that's the driving. So you've gotten in the car and you're starting to move forward towards your decision. Now, most people stop right there. They think about it and then they make a decision, but you have to judge. Judging is so important. And now I'm gonna use judging as our turning. So as you're in the car, you have to decide, do I take this highway or do I take this back road? Do I take the freeway? Do I take the toll road? I need to choose which way I'm going to go. And so I understand, I thought, now I'm going to make a judgment. 
I'm not making a decision, a judgment, but judgment is about this, this word. Notice we've been using eyes. So we've got intellect for understanding, intuition for thinking, and now for judgment, we're gonna use inclusion. Most people forget the beauty of inclusion. Now, inclusion is not just other people. Inclusion is um, basing knowledge that's elsewhere or evidence from, from other resources and putting them into play in this process. It's also welcoming sound wisdom uh, and, and, and wise counsel from others. It's also welcoming uh, past experiences. And so I'm going to include different things that I know about, that I've seen, that I've heard, different references. I'm going to, to allow that to look parallel at whatever I'm thinking and understanding so that I can make a proper decision. So I'm judging uh, uh, what I'm gathering and what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling according to what the words of other people who I trust, the words of people who have been there before, um, my, my, my circle, right? So I'm going to invite all of the people and the external references to help me make a proper decision. And so as I'm judging, that is my turning. I'm, I'm switching from left to right. I'm deciding where, what path I want to go on now that I have all of this information. And then judging leads to acting. And acting is really, it, it, it's, it's ultimately all about confidence and security. So if you follow this process, then you won't ever second guess yourself or you shouldn't second guess yourself. Obviously, we're human, so sometimes that happens, but you followed a process of understanding, thinking, judging, acting, balancing your intellect, your intuition, your inclusion, and then your confidence and security. Now, when you come, when, when you have that call to action, when you start to move, when you start to do, and, and, and of course, in the trip, acting is arriving. And so when I've arrived to my conclusion, to my decision to make this particular thing uh, set in motion, I'm now going to have more confidence and security because I've already invited wise counsel. I've already invited external references. I've already thought about it, processed and focused. I've already got a major uh, intake of understanding of whatever it is that I'm trying to accomplish. So now at this place, I am confident. I'm firm in my belief. I have a good system around me. I have, uh, I have good backing by the wise counsel that I've sought out. And so now I can make the right decision. Most people, uh, alleviate judging by uh, not including others. Most people don't think uh, critically, they don't process, they don't uh, focus, and so they skip these two major parts. So they get somewhat of an understanding of what's, what's at stake, and then they act. And that is not the right way to do. That is what we call impulse. And so we don't want to be irrational. We don't want to be sudden. We want to be fully focused because if we allow our behaviors, our beliefs, our preferences, our values, and then the wisdom of others and the wisdom of different references and different experiences, those things will catapult us into making the right decisions all the time. And I, I'm not saying that your, right, your decision will be perfect, but it's the right decision if you follow this process, because all you can, at the end of the day, all, all you need to say is, I did it the right way. If I didn't get the outcome that I wanted, that's not because of my process. There might have been some different issues regarding the information that I was given or regarding, you know, what what things just happened. But I can always rest assured that I made the right decision because I followed this process in life. Process is very important. It's not everything, but it's very important. Follow this process, understand, think, judge and act so that you can make the best sound decision and then you can help others.